2004 through 2007 3.0 forest intake manifold it's a freaking monster but is the only manifold that physically comes with a 60 millimeter throttle body it also is probably one of the longest intake manifolds there are so it's very torque biased because of how large it is but i simply wanted to use it simply because of the 60 millimeter throttle body and better airflow now i want to take more advantage of the high rpm airflow of the rocker arms and the headers so i have switched to a 2000 for taurus manifold and this only comes in the year 2000 which is significantly shorter it's the same size about the 2003 2002 composite but it's metal so i can put a 60 millimeter on it in comparison it's much shorter also it's equal length where that one's longer and unequal length this one's shorter and it's equal length the actual manifold itself along with the throttle body fits in this frame you can't see the throttle body or the rest of the neck on the other side um, which will improve top end quite a bit see air travels in but it doesn't just come here and then into here like it does on this one it comes in here goes right into the runners here it goes in splits one goes up top down there and the bottom goes all the way around up in here which makes it an unequal length runner style so it does it's super punchy and it's super torquey but I'm not looking for just torque in this application. I'm trying to get as much top-end horsepower as possible. My goal red line is 6,000 RPM, and I'm not going to make it on this. So, 60 millimeter, 60 millimeter. Another advantage is, if you look here, these this is about the same. These runners are about the same size and how large they are but this you should be able to port this out a little bit more than you should these because there's very little plastic to work with so you can actually port this out a little bit more because it actually starts off big up here and it narrows out out here so you port this should make a higher volume runner i probably won't be doing this today right now i'm probably just looking to install it so I'm not going to do any porting down here today because I ran. It took a lot of my porting bits just to get that throttle body on there. So I'll have to save that for another day. As I saw before I put the manifold on, I also want to show you the ported lower. I ported up here in the middle. I also ported the opposite side. So I took the whole manifold out, I ported the top and bottom for better airflow. So porting your top will help just a little bit, but you really have to port the other side because the other side of the lower intake manifold is significantly, the intake port is significantly smaller compared to the head. The head intake ports are actually pretty good. It's actually the lower intake manifold that is probably the biggest bottleneck. So you're going to have to take the time out and actually port that out. Got it installed. In order to make this work, 
I had a mega bracket for the throttle cable. And this bracket is, uh, I made out of um, exhaust hanger. So 